Hi guys, welcome to this page of the notes. And again, what we're doing is we're working on that second objective or learning target, which is synthetic division. And what we've seen is that synthetic division only works in certain cases where the divisor has a leading coefficient of one and the power on the variable is to the first power. Now we just looked at an example problem where sometimes you can fudge it if all of the coefficients are uh, divisible by that leading coefficient of the divisor, um, then you can make synthetic division work. That rarely will ever happen. So again, what we're looking for is the divisor to have a leading coefficient of one and that power uh, to be a one. And when it is, well, synthetic division will work and that will definitely be the way to go. It's gonna be faster. The only other thing you need to do is check to make sure that you don't need a placeholder. X to the third, X to the second, X to the first, X to the zero. Everybody is there, so we're all set. We start off by setting our divisor equal to zero. And that'll be the number that I'm going to do my synthetic division with. So negative three goes inside the box. And then I pull out all of my coefficients. So two, three, negative four, and 15. Set up my bar to separate my work from my answer and bring down that very first coefficient and then from there, it's multiply and add until you run out of numbers. Sorry, we're running out of power. Okay, so um, negative 3 times 2 is going to be a negative 6. Add them up, that's going to be a minus 3. That's going to be positive 9, which is going to give me 5. Negative 3 times 5 is going to be a minus 15, which sum to 0. Okay, so in this case, remember, that last number is always going to come out to be your remainder. In this case, I wind up with a remainder of zero, which means what that tells me is that my dividend is evenly divisible by my divisor. I don't have anything left over when I do my division. And my final answer will always be one degree less than my original polynomial, which was a third degree polynomial. So my answer is going to be a second degree polynomial. 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 and I don't have a remainder. My remainder is zero, so that's it. You're all set. Let's go ahead and do another one. Again, check to make sure that synthetic division will work. Leading coefficient is one, the power is one, okay? So then all I gotta do is check to make sure I don't need any placeholders. Uh, x to the fourth, x squared, x to the first, x to the, okay, so I'm missing the x to the third, so I'm gonna need to do a couple of things here. First, I need to set this guy equal to zero, and then I need to add my placeholder. So 4x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 12. All right, now that I've added my placeholder, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, I've accounted for every power of x starting with the highest power I was given using zero as the leading coefficient for my placeholder. Now I'm all set to set up my synthetic, set up my synthetic division using a negative two. So negative two goes inside the box and I pull out all my leading coefficients. Four, zero, two, negative four, and 12. The bar to separate my work from my answer, and the first step is to bring down that leading coefficient, which is a 4. Then you multiply and add until you run out of numbers. Negative 2 times 4, negative 8, add them up, going to be a negative 8. That's going to give you 16, which would be 18, which is going to be a minus 36, which is going to give you a negative 40, which is going to give you a positive 80, which leaves you with a 92 as a remainder. I know a gigantic remainder, but that's okay. My original polynomial was a fourth degree polynomial, so my answer is going to be a third degree polynomial. That 92 gets written over my original divisor. 
because it is my remainder, we write it over top of the divisor, and this is my reduced polynomial, the result of doing synthetic division. Got a couple more for you here on the next page, and since these go so fast, uh, we will just fly through these next couple of example problems. You should be really good at doing synthetic division at this point. Hopefully what you're doing is coming back now to check your answers because you've already worked ahead. So let me get caught up with where you're at. First we set this guy equal to zero. So I'm going to be doing synthetic division with a positive two. Check for placeholders. Three, two, one, zero. Everybody's there. I don't need any placeholders. So we set up my synthetic division. The two goes inside the box. Three, negative eight, 11, minus 14, Bring down the 3. Now it's multiply and add until I run out of numbers. 2 times 3 is 6, which leaves you with a negative 2. It's going to be a minus 4, which should give me a positive 7. That's going to give me a positive 14, which leaves you with a 0. I get a remainder of 0, which means that they're evenly divisible. That's nice. Um, the original polynomial was a third degree, so my polynomial, my answer is going to be a second degree. 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. I don't have a remainder, and so that's it. We're all set. Next. All right. We are really good at these. We're just going to fly through this next one. Synthetic division, absolutely awesome. When it works, it is so fast. Saves a ton of time. Four, three. I'm missing the two. So we're going to rewrite this. 6x to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 0x squared plus 12x minus 14. So now I've got 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I have every power of x starting with the one I was given in decreasing order. And we're all set to um, set up our synthetic division. So the 2 goes inside the box, and I pull out all of my coefficients. 6, negative 8, 0, 12, minus 14. We start by bringing down the 6. All right, so uh, 6 times 2 is going to be 12. Add them up. That's going to leave me the positive 4. It's going to give me 8. It's going to give me 8. That's going to be 16 which gives me 28, 2 times 28, 56, and negative 14 plus 56 should be 42. That's my remainder. My original polynomial was fourth degree, which means mine is going to be third degree. Plus. 42 over x minus 2. All right, guys, once again, that is synthetic division. Um, hopefully what you see here is that when it works, it really helps these problems go a lot faster where you're dividing polynomials. Um, and again, it only works in certain cases. So as long as you have one of those cases, please feel free to do synthetic division. Um, but remember, algebraic division works every single time. It will always work, and in, there are certain cases where synthetic divi or, um, algebra algebraic division is going to be the only way to do the problem. Um, unfortunately, synthetic division works in really specific cases. So um, hopefully you enjoyed the synthetic division. I get a kick out of it. I think it's so much fun. Uh, to do, plus the fact that it's so easy. I love it. Um, so head on over to the next page of the notes. We'll try a couple more of the trickier problems with algebraic division. I'll meet you there.